ready to fall in love this Christmas under the mistletoe. Is a kiss on the top of your wish list? Well, I know a girl you should know. She's sugar and spice, naughty and nice, waiting under that evergreen. If you're ready to fall in love this Christmas, fall in love with me. If you're ready to fall in love this Christmas, don't wait for Christmas Eve. Take a chance on romance, cause this is the time to trust your heart and believe. There's no mystery, it's chemistry, just as perfect as it can be. If you're ready to fall in love this Christmas, you ought to fall in love with me. Are you sure this is the right place? Ab absolutely sure. Yeah, I checked the address twice. It's 113 East End Avenue. East End Avenue is the place where they always dredge up the lake for bodies. You know that? <laughs> Very funny. Mom, you're sure you got the right place? Yes, Haley, I'm sure. I can see the headline now. A promising young life cut short in front of a scuzzy abandoned warehouse on Christmas Eve. That is a long headline. That's the guy who gets all his news through Twitter. OK, you two, that's enough. I really don't want to die here, and certainly not tonight. Oh, I told you we should have gone with Dad. Well, who do you think gave me the directions? I'm telling you guys, this is the place. <laughs> well, that code check was definitely different. There's something so wrong about Silent Night with a drum machine. This is incredible. Looks like we found the right place. I think this is the best one yet. Hey, Holly. Hey, Doug. Yeah, Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. How are you doing? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Here. You guys get a look at this Yep. Definitely the right place. Of last minute demand, or he wouldn't perform. His dressing room had to be stocked with 20 and a half pounds of caramels. Like the kind that you make the candy apples with him. Yeah, so like two hours before the show was supposed to start, we must have gone to 30 different stores buying up every bag of caramels we could find. <laughs> and it was so cool because Dad let us get as much candy as we wanted for mm -hmm. ourselves, too. It's true. Oh, that's awesome. You guys were like kids in a candy store. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How much candy did you get? Well, Mom, we didn't have time for dinner. It's come on. We were... <laughs> what a lovely Thanksgiving. It's so anyway, he comes out on stage just after he jams about 20 of these sticky caramels into his mouth, and it's completely stuck shut. He's like, hey, how are you guys doing tonight? <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> what did you do for Thanksgiving, Holly? Oh, um... I, uh, just caught up on some writing. Oh, I love that for you. <laughs> I read, like, all of your books in junior high. Well, do audiobooks count? <laughs> Reading wasn't really my best subject. I'm so glad you enjoyed them in junior high. Look, um, I know how it's my turn to get the kids in the 26th this year, but, uh, it's just been a change of plans. Again? Like, it's just that, uh, I've been offered a beach house in the Bahamas, and uh, the ad agency is uh, providing us with their private jet. But, um, we gotta leave tonight. What about Christmas morning? Come on, Holly, do you really wanna deprive the kids of a once-in-a-lifetime trip like this? Dan, it's Christmas. All the more reason to give them a uh, special holiday. Well, maybe we should let the kids decide what they wanna do for their special holiday. Right, guys?
Underneath the mistletoe Santa whispered in my ear Get on the party train You've been so good this year Merry Christmas, everyone, wherever you are. That's got to be our family's favorite Christmas song. So on this joyous family holiday, Merry Christmas from our family to yours. A very merry Christmas from Ivy, your loving but crazed sister, who is sitting in her office right now because Santa brought me a pile of manuscripts for Christmas, all of which I have to read before the end of the year. Ugh. Kiss the kids for me. Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! It's not feeling super Christmassy. Dad but... would want to wish you a Merry Christmas too. Yeah, if we could find him. <laughs> Merry Christmas, yep. Mom. We love you. Merry Christmas, Mom. You know what I really want? towards the sweethearts of palm salad. Mm. I think she's telling you to lean the other way. Well, she's not the one who's ordering, is she? I'll, um, I'll take the salad. We'll both have the Cupid bow tie pasta. Thank you. Holly, you know I love you like a sister. Well, you are my sister. No one else would dare order for me. No, I am your editor and your sister, so I love you like a sister, but as your Ooh, editor- are they dyeing the mashed potatoes pink? Holly, listen to me. What? If you don't have a hit book soon, the publishing house is going to drop you. I mean, you had to have known this was coming. Hey, I mean, people come want- on. I have had plenty of hits. I mean, three of my books made the USA Today bestseller list. It's been seven years since you had a bestseller, and seven years since your divorce. <laughs> oh, that is just a coincidence. Really? I mean, you're a romantic novelist, and now all your heroes die a grisly death by the fifth chapter. Mm. It's cheaper than therapy. Yeah, but that's not what people want. They want this, hearts and, and flowers. Not Quentin plunging into a vat of boiling oil. But he lived to cheat on Emily yet again. Your readers want happy. Armless Quentin cheating on Emily, that, that's not happy. Find your happy place. Well. As a matter of fact, I have. <gasps> gimme. <laughs> gimme, gimme, gimme. No, oh, I still have a couple of changes I want to make. Gimme, you always have changes. I'm reading this now. Cheers.
this is going to be a hit. <laughs> Everyone's going to want to read about what a wonderful childhood we had. Oh so glad you like it. I'm just a little confused. Did we have a wonderful childhood? No. I didn't think so, because we didn't grow up on Gingerbread Lane. Lincoln Street. Did we at least have a golden retriever? No, Dad was allergic to dogs. <laughs> and I don't recall popcorn garlands or taffy pulls. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this wasn't our childhood at no. all. No. <laughs> you, um, I think you missed the last page. Oh. Oh, yeah. Of course, none of this really happened. Gingerbread Lane existed only in a little girl's deepest wishes and wildest imagination. This is the Christmas I wish I had, the one we all wish we had. But now that I'm a grown up, I realize Christmas can't live up to those expectations. At best, it's just a few twinkling lights, a couple of presents under the tree, and a little regret that it's never Christmas on Gingerbread Lane. Hmm. You know how I said this was going to be a hit? I was wrong. It's going to be a blockbuster. <laughs> well, as soon as I get rid of this Bahamba glass page, way to kill the moment, Holly. Why do you always do that? I'm just telling it like it is. Yeah, but no one's going to pay money to read this. And if you don't have another hit, the publisher's through. Trust me. I do trust you, mostly. But after the Christmas I just had, that last page stays. Holly. You know I could lose my job for this. And you know I am not gonna let it happen again. One book, one mistake. <sighs> Not a bad average. Mom, have you seen my phone? Uh, check the washing machine. Not again. In my second novel, the Duke of Essex turned into the Dude of Essex. It's one letter, but it made a big difference. Dude, I'm supposed to hand in that manuscript to the printers. If my boss finds out that I stopped here, I, I will, will never tell. I just need to proofread it one last time. Mom, she's wearing my shirt again. Can you make her stop it? Can you just let her wear it? No, just this one every day? time Come she on. wears something mine, it reeks of fake strawberries. It's raspberries, you okay. goop. Make her stop it. You're such a baby. Okay, that's it, or else. Or else what? Okay, okay. <gasps> I'm done. Oh, thank you. Oh, let me wash my hands. So I did pretty good. While you were reading the manuscript, I got Seven, eight, yeah. done. Good. How many did you agree upon? Uh, how many is 15 dozen? What? None of the other moms ever volunteered. Well, why don't you help? Well, because mom doesn't appreciate my technique. No, I do not. Not after last year when I got called into the principal's office to explain goth Easter eggs to him. <gasps> Spence asked about me? No way. Okay, whatever you do, do not let him leave. I'm on my way. I gotta go too. Okay, see you later. Bestsellers list, here we come. <laughs> Cash, so I'm taking it down and trade. Hi. Oh. Thank you. Who's Spencer? The guy who's gonna kick your butt if you don't mind your business. Hi. Hello. Hi. Thank you. 
And when you got to the, the taffy pull, that was my Christmas. I can't believe you had exactly the same. The same. The same. Well, at least it's the Christmas I wish. I wish we all had, I know. We're just the lucky ones. Do you have any brothers or sisters? <laughs> You should buy them all a copy. Holly here will be happy to sign them all. Ivy, what? Just 732 more copies to sell between now and Sunday, and we make the New York Times bestseller list. Oh. Don't forget your aunts and uncles, too. Merry Christmas to you, too. Who should I make this one out to? And who are you supposed to be, little girl? I am a very happy editor. I have the best news. I know. I know. After six weeks on the Daily Monitor bestsellers list, I've moved up to number three. Old news. Oh, I got it. Readers Weekly. I'm number four with a bullet. So five minutes ago. <laughs> okay, I give up. What is it? I have been named editor of the year. Can you believe it? <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> Personally, I think he could have tried a little harder on the airbrush. Oh, I don't know. You can't improve on classic good looks. Says who? Editor of the year for me. Bestsellers list for you. Does it get any better than this? <laughs> Why, yes. As a matter of fact, it does. Trick or treat. And who are you this time, little girl? I am Canada's favorite Talk show host. Hi, this is Audra. We're doing a Back to Basics episode next month, and we would be so happy if Holly Kincaid would join us. By the way, everyone at my show loves the book. Oh, and we learned that waterproof mascara is not a thing. <laughs> not loving it. <laughs> Call us. <laughs> what? Yes, you. Oh, you this is real. Of course, we couldn't do this episode without Holly Kincaid, the author of the absolutely transporting Christmas on Gingerbread Lane. <laughs> Loving it! But of course, this cover is not the only delicious part of this book. We will chat with Holly right after this. That is her real name. Holly, are you loving it? I hope I'm doing the right thing. Are you kidding? Do you know how many books this is going to sell? Yeah, but I pulled the kids out of school for this. And Xander's got a big algebra exam coming up. Mom, this is your moment. You shouldn't be worrying about us. Focus, focus on you. Translation, he hasn't even started studying for it yet. Oh. Besides, out of all the places Dad's ever taken us, he's never gotten us on the Audra show. I can't believe you're not nervous. Why would I be nervous? It's just two ladies sitting in a fake living room gabbing. And millions and millions of viewers watching. And if you make one tiny flub, it's gonna live on the internet forever and ever and okay. ever. Okay. Well, I am going to kill all of you. <laughs> oh, you're a week early for our show on Family Murders. But if you'd like to come back... <laughs> Hi, I'm Josh Malloy, Audra's producer. You must be Holly. I recognize you from the book flap. Hi, it's um, nice to meet you. It's like... And I'm Ivy, Holly's sister. Holly and Ivy. How perfect. You guys were made for Gingerbread Lane. Yeah. And these are my kids, Frankincense and Mar. <laughs> my, my friends call me Frank. <laughs> You guys are funny. Sense of humor will do well for you guys on this show. Speaking of which, it's showtime. <gasps> Good luck. <laughs> I love, love, love this book. Thank you. <laughs> I bet you would all like to have a Christmas just like this. <laughs> right? <laughs> and isn't it wonderful that you, Holly Kincaid, actually did? Well, to be honest, pulled taffy and the popcorn garland and the horse-drawn sleigh. I mean, how do you saddle up a sleigh? Well, the whole point is that... Oh, 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 
and the golden retriever who swallowed the bell so that every time you called him, he would jingle all the way. <laughs> <laughs> Loving it! <laughs> I actually didn't have... <gasps> Do you still keep his ashes inside of your great-grandmother's cookie jar? The Christmas one with the, with the candy cane handle? In a word? No. Don't tell me it broke. No, it didn't break because I never actually... Well, more on the jar. Oh, and we are talking about that drunken snowman when we return. <laughs> And we are out. Back in five, Audra. Okay, come on. Come here. Come here. What is happening? Did she not read the whole book? I don't know. What do I need to remind her that none of this really happened? Oh, yeah, and embarrass her in front of millions of viewers. And then you can kiss the top ten list goodbye. And then you're going to have to find me a new job. Okay, well, what should I do? I don't know. Just just keep nodding. What difference does it make? I can't just... Uh, Holly, uh... Would you mind autographing uh, some books for our staff? Um, no, not at all. Oh, great. The camera loves you, by the way. And might I say, it has excellent taste. Oh, sorry. Uh, careful. This book is a national treasure. <laughs> Funny. <clears throat> Where is it? Where's what? The last page, Ivy, the one that said that oh. this never happened. Uh... So sorry to get you to sign so oh. many of these. Your book is a real hit around here. Wait, we have a problem. Oh, it's not for you to sign now. It's more for after the show. Oh, oh they're ready. Um, we're live in 30 seconds. Okay. Oh. <sighs> Tell me this isn't happening. Audra, in three, two... <laughs> That smell of gingerbread just takes me way back. <laughs> so, Holly, we have something to show you. Roll it! This is Baker's Crossing, the kind of small town you described in your book. It's almost 50 kilometers off the highway with just four local businesses. Oops, <laughs> make that three. The gas station, the post office, general store, and of course, the bakery. Baker's Crossing may be small, but it celebrates Christmas in a big way. But that's not all we found. Just a hop, skip, and a jump from Baker's Crossing, we found an actual gingerbread lane. You've told us that street you grew up on is long gone, but gingerbread lane is still kicking. <laughs> Isn't that wonderful? Oh, Holly, and as a very special surprise to you, we have rented out that house for two weeks so that you and your family can move in and recreate Christmas on Gingerbread Lane. I don't know what to say. I know what to say. There is no way that I am- Leaving it! <laughs> we know! Yes, but I, I yes, can't. but you can thank my producer Josh Malloy because it was this guy's big idea. You and your family will move in around mid-December, and then we will do a one-hour live special on Christmas Eve, right from Gingerbread Lane. Can you believe it? No. I'll give you this to get you started. I'm not going. You have to, or both of our careers are over if you don't go through with it. Well, I'm never gonna write another word again anyway, so. <laughs> come on, you gotta admit that Josh is pretty cute. Great, well he can come and visit me in prison when I'm doing 20 years for fraud. Okay, fine. I'll tell Josh to get you on the Audra show tomorrow and you can tell her and her audience that you're a liar and a fraud. And you know how Audra loves being taken in by bogus memoirs. Mom, we can't go. It's Dad's turn to have us at Christmas. No, it's not. He said that there's an opening at the ski resort, so thought hey, maybe that... this could be just as exciting as something you do with your dad. For two weeks? Like, how long can it take to pull some taffy? This is just cruel, Mom. Mom, you know how I am in enclosed spaces. Hey, less yapping, more packing. Go, go, go. <sighs> okay, so Josh is going to be here around 2 o'clock, I said to him, and... He's early. What do you want me to tell him? 
Nothing. He needs to hear this from me. Oh. Uh. He's excited. <laughs> <laughs> now, I don't normally go through people's mail, but uh, Science Works magazine? Oh. Where else am I going to learn that the blue dye in M&M's? Pure spinal injuries. Yeah, I know. I, I love this magazine. <laughs> Me too. I've been getting it since I was 11. Me too. And I'm still waiting on those flying cars. I got dibs at the dealer once they did. You'll have to introduce me to your guy. Sorry to interrupt as you get your geek on, but Josh, I thought you were supposed to be here at 2. Sorry, yeah, I just wanted to make sure I got some shots of the happy family going on their big adventure. <laughs> You'll have to excuse them. They're just getting into the holiday spirit. <laughs> it's perfect. Nothing Audra loves more than an honest moment. You ready? Uh, let's do this. And three, two. We're on our way to the airport. Where we're flying commercial. And coach. Without our phones or tablets. Because mom didn't have those growing up. On Gingerbread Lane. And cut. Why don't we stop and take a look around? You know, this could be fun. Funnily enough, this is exactly how I imagined. Remembered? Remembered it. it. <laughs> wow. You must have really searched to find this place. Oh, your book meant a lot to me, too. I was an army brat growing up. We moved around so much some years, we didn't have time to put up a Christmas tree. Oh, is that our house? Elk's Lodge. We got just a little ways to go to get to your place. <laughs> so cute here, right? Oh, look at the little park. Everything I hoped it would be. Uh, the stables are over there, but we could only afford one horse. I a horse? I know, I know. You had more than one in your book, but we tried to use it as a guide for everything. I think this is going to be a wonderful Christmas. I think so, too. Yeah! Gross! Uh, yeah, we only had enough money to fix up the outside. We blew our budget on Dreams to Reality Week. Is that mouse? No, no, no. Those are way too big to be just mouse droppings. I think I'm going to hurl. Well, look, somebody already did. I, I mean, besides, <laughs> you talk about in your book how much fun you had decorating your home with lots of love and imagination. Right, yeah, my imagination did not include rats. That is it. 
I'm out of here. <laughs> okay, why don't we go back to the hotel, get a good night's sleep, and then we'll we'll deal with this in the morning. <laughs> uh, no, you're sleeping here. I can't. Okay, look, we managed to clean the upstairs rooms, and there's fresh sheets on the bed. It's kind of a tie-in deal with Martha. That's how we got the money to fix the outside. It's going to be great. You guys have my cell phone number, so um, call me if you need anything, and I will go back to the hotel and let you know that I arrived safely. Uh, 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 you're staying here. Yeah, but how many rooms are there? Three. See? No, nope. there's no room. No, no, no. Forget it. You're not going anywhere. Yeah, but... No, you are going to stay in my room, just like on page 108 that night we heard the... Werewolf? This could have potential. Oh, coffee. Coffee, coffee, coffee. Knock yourself out. It's cold. Well, you try getting that stove to work. Oh, come on. How hard can it be? Good luck. Oh, please, do not tell me. Yep, page 41, why mom loved grandma's charming old stove. Okay, well, surely you put a Starbucks in there somewhere? It's okay, it's okay, you know what? Josh is gonna be here any minute and he's gonna bring us lattes and we are going to be a, okay, with the coffee. Nothing, there's nothing. There's two houses on the street and the owners have either left town or they've just moved out for good. So good, you guys are always going on about your personal space. It looks like, a horror movie after the zombies have attacked. <laughs> hey, hon, how is... Don't even. Guys, it's all gonna work out. I promise. No, it's not. There's no hot water. Yes, there is. You just... You have, you have to run it for a while. Oh, we should be the ones running. No, I'd call for help, but Josh took my phone. And iPad. Mine too. But... Not my trusty backup. Okay, I forgive you for being my brother. Now call Dad and tell him to come and get us. It's no service. Okay. What a surprise. Mom, tell me you had heat in that stupid book of yours. You know what? Actually, I think there was. Yes, right here. There was always a big stack of freshly chopped wood piled neatly in the back of the house. Yes! <laughs> yes! And on very cold mornings, we'd build a roaring fire in the big stone fireplace and toast marshmallows and sip on hot chocolate. Now, marshmallows aren't exactly breakfast material. Come on, Mom. It's the least you can do. I got one bar! Let's go build a fire. <laughs> okay, let's go. Was there this much smoke when you pictured us doing this? Not really. <coughs> Did you check the damper? No, the wood's totally dry. <coughs> no, the damper. <coughs> oh, you just need to make sure it's open. <coughs> How can you tell? That part I don't know. Here, uh, hold this. That's what they say. Okay. Queen Bee had the same problem at her chalet last winter, so there. Hey. <coughs> huh. Everything okay in here? Let's go ahead. Uh, nice touch. It's rustic. Maybe you should consider opening a damper. <coughs> we just did. Mom just showed us how. <coughs> so before you get started, I thought I'd give you a lift into town. We tried to get you all the basics, but if there's anything else you need, this would be your last chance. Great, because if we needed to borrow a cup of sugar, we'd be out of luck. <laughs> Closest family's a few minute walk, but luckily we put them up in a hotel, you know, less distraction. The kind of hotel with heat and hot water? Shall we? I thought we were going to the mall. This is the original mall. Everything you need under one roof. Right. 
You want to go take a look around? Sure. A what cafe? An, an internet cafe. What about lip gloss? Hmm? Uh, Streak less self tanner, toner, cuticle cream. Was this tested on animals? I could probably rustle a pig if you wanted to give it a shot. How about telling us where the real mall is? Okay. You go on outside, go up the road till a big white church. You make a right hand turn and then you drive, oh, oh I don't know, uh, about 175 kilometers. You can't miss it. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> oh. So, do you ever think about getting married again? Yeah, uh, all the time. Every time the toilet gets clogged or I can't reach the zipper on the back of my dress. Whenever I'm at a wedding and everyone gets up to dance and I'm left all by myself. Okay, so? No, well, between the writing and raising two kids, not a lot of time. Well, I would have thought the aroma of your cranberry spice muffins would bring them running. Or do you only make those at Christmas? Yeah. It's um, hard to find good cranberries in July. Well, actually, we checked, and uh, Tuffy has them. But you mentioned something about a special ingredient. Is it mace? What? Why would I spray well, mace? Because that's the spice that my grandmother always used. Yes. You got me. <laughs> Mace. Also, uh, what about the... You know uh, what? Um, enough about me and my secrets. Tell me more about you. Is there um, anyone special in your life? No. Uh, we spend so much time on the show working on other people's lives. I never had a chance to have one of my own. But you'd like to get married someday? Well, I do know how to pull up a zipper, fix a toilet, and there's always a way to find cranberries in July. <laughs> um, we should uh, yeah. we'll probably get back. Green. Where did you find that? Josh. They um, had it left over from when they painted the outside of the house. Oh, lucky us. Or should I say lucky you? Okay, look, I know this isn't an ideal circumstance, but we're sort of stuck here for a while, so let's try to make the best of it, okay? Seems to be working out just fine for you, Mom. Okay, Haley. Wanna tell me what's really going on? Nothing a bright coat of paint won't fix. Haley. Look, I get it. This deal sucks. But I'll tell you what, I will let you have some more time with your dad in the new year and he can take you on a spa day in the south of France. Is that what you think I'd rather do? Yeah, who wouldn't? Well, I don't know, me? You know, Mom, for once, I just wish you would ask me how I feel instead of deciding for me. Okay, come on, you cannot tell me you wouldn't rather spend the day being pampered and... Forgotten? What? Yeah. Dad means well, but the truth is, we don't see him all that often. Yeah, he'd pay for the spa day, but his assistant would drop me off. Then when I was through, I'd, I'd start calling Dad to come and pick me up, and if I was lucky, someone would get there an hour after the spa closed. If I was lucky. I'm so sorry, honey. I always thought that... Yeah, well, you were wrong. Look, why don't we... You know what this place needs? Brighter curtains. Hey, what do you think? Oh, I like what you've done with the place. However, I'm not so sure that this is your color. 
What do you think about this for curtains? Is that your brother's shirt? Actually, it's Dad's. Sander just borrowed it from him. Oh, well, in that case, give me the scissors. Josh, what do you think? I like it. Chapter 16, plaid tidings, rags to riches decorating. I don't know how my dad's gonna feel about his $300 shirt being called a rag. Okay. Hey, can I uh, talk to you for a sec? Oh, yeah, sure. So what's your policy on dating fans? Um, well, given that up until this book, most of my fans have been middle-aged women with a thing for 16th century earls, it hasn't really come up. Well, what if it were to? Oh, well, that would definitely depend on where they stand on the whole flying car issue. Oh, yes, I'm in. <laughs> Listen, uh, I mean, we may be limited on where we can go for dinner around here, but uh, maybe after we go live tomorrow, I could possibly... Tomorrow? Yeah. I didn't think we were going live until next week. Oh, yeah, Audra just wants to air some teaser stuff to, you know, to build interest in the big show. I mean, don't worry. I'm just gonna shoot you guys doing all the normal things you do to get ready for Christmas. <laughs> Tomorrow. Yeah. Okay, listen up. Tomorrow they are gonna film us doing all the stuff we usually do. Hitching the horse to the sleigh. Cutting down a Christmas tree. Stringing popcorn garlands. Having a taffy pull. You want us to cut down a tree? Mom, you, you get nervous when we pick up butter knives. Yeah, we've never done any of this stuff before. Well, there's no time like the present. And by tomorrow morning, we'll all be experts. Even if it takes all night. Besides stringing popcorn, how hard can it be? Hmm? Yes. <laughs> Mom, I need another bandage. But can we just glue them? No, because Mom didn't use glue back in the day. Did you, Mom? Don't taunt your mother when she's holding a sharp object. How long are these supposed to be? Longer than that. I was afraid you were going to say that. Is that what I think it is? Hmm. Okay, I might have forgotten to hand it in. Okay, Wait, I need to use the Hello? Josh. Yeah, yeah, I, I, my... Thanks for the heads up. He was just letting me know he's gonna turn the service off in 30 seconds. Oh, I need my diamonds for ah. Taffy! Pull. Oh. It's everything we need to... How do you know when this is done? I don't know. It's not like a taffy light comes on or anything. Well, I hope it's soon because I'm getting actual blisters from doing this. Yeah, I'm gonna give this one more pull and then I am done. Haley, you uh, have something on your forehead. <laughs> Sander, you are so dead. <laughs> hey, Mom. No, you're right. Taffy pulling's a lot of fun. That is it! I am totally getting the hang of this. What do you guys think? <laughs> School of minimalism, right, Mom? Yeah, very retro. <laughs> is that what they call it, back to basics? Okay, so maybe this isn't my thing. Popcorn garland. Check. Taffy pull. Check. Reads. Probably gonna have to revisit those. What's next? Get it. What I need is for Haley to... Wait, where is Haley? Huh. Where is Xander? I haven't seen either one of them for a while now. <sighs> okay, that's it. Haley! Xander! Yeah? Look, I understand this isn't your idea of a dream vacation, but for once in your life, could you please just think about someone other than yourself? All I am asking for is just a little bit of help, and all I'm getting in return is... What were you saying, Mom? Uh, 
I didn't realize you. Yeah. What else is new? Uh, Haley. Uh, <laughs> Haley. Mom, why are we doing this at night? Well, by tomorrow morning, we need to look like we've been pitching horses our whole lives. This would be all easier if we actually knew what we were doing. Or if I had my phone. Yep, I could have Googled miserable childhood. Okay, when you went to Girl Guide Camp, didn't they teach you knots? Mom, we were seven. They were teaching us how to tie our shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> <laughs> nice one, Mom. Yeah, yeah. Better than the last one. <laughs> Sandra, why are you uh, <laughs> Okay, okay. So maybe this isn't my thing. <laughs> Guys, this is looking really good. I think we're ready for the horse. Okay. okay, we just have to add one more thing to the list. Retrieve horse. Try pointing it to your left. No, Xander, your other left. No, it's still a no-go. Xander, get down from there. I'm being careful. He's not going to fall, Mom. Don't worry about the horse. That's not what he is doing. Well, I don't care what he's doing. That's not the point. That is the point. You don't care. We have spent the last three months treated as props trying to sell your make-believe book. So you have to face facts, Mom. We're not gingerbread lane people. But we pretend because none of the holidays we have spent together have been good enough. Yeah, we never lived up to any of the fun that you and Aunt Ivy ever had. Fun? <laughs> what fun? The perfect Halloween. Uh, the one that we spent in the hospital. Your mom couldn't see out of her mask and she smashed her head on a mailbox. Yeah, we didn't leave the lawn. What about the Valentine's Day cakes? Uh, yeah, you could probably still see the marks on the wall from the fire. The Easter egg hunt? The one that grandma tore apart the house looking for the vodka that grandpa hid? Guys, all I ever wanted was for you to have the perfect holidays. That is all I wanted. No, Mom. You wanted us to be perfect, and we're not. But you are perfect. To me. Both of you are. Well, that's great. You can write about that in your next book about the perfect kids you think you have. Hey, I got it! I got a signal! Haley! It's working! I never should have got them caught up in this. Teenage daughters, they fight with their mothers. It's part of their job description. But maybe she has a point. I mean, maybe I'm asking too much of them. I don't think a taffy pull is gonna scar them for life. <sighs> I should have just been honest about the book from the start and not let it come to this. I think we're better off with Dad anyways. Yeah. If Josh asks about us, she's just gonna make something up. She's really good at that. Come on. Holly, you better look out the window. I gonna do? Well, um, we're gonna do exactly what we've been doing. We're gonna string popcorn, pull toffee, and we're gonna get ready for Christmas. No, Ivy, this whole gingerbread lane thing, it's over now. No, we have no choice. <sighs> we can't stop now. I can't do this anymore. Yes. Yes, you can. We'll do it together. What about the kids? I mean, what are we gonna say when Josh shows up? Well, tell them they went for a walk. And oh, what about when he comes back tomorrow and they're still not here? We'll say they went for a long walk. This isn't gonna work. Do you remember that Easter? How long did we manage to hide that rabbit from Dad? Ivy, 
That was a three pound bunny. These are two fully grown kids. Well, at least they didn't poop all over the place. Come on, Holly. We can do this together. Like we've always been able to get through things. I don't know. Morning. Everybody in the Christmas spirit? Ho, ho, ho. Shall we get started? Everything okay? Just, just great. Where are the kids? They went for a walk. Nice long walk. With the horse. Oh. Uh, I don't know. Uh, should we wait? No. Let's get started without them. Okay. <laughs> You guys could use some warming up. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Do you know what this is missing? We need to get the kids in there. So help me, I'm never gonna feel the same way about popcorn again. Once this is over, I never want to hear the words gingerbread lane ever again. <laughs> so Ugh. this is not a really good time to bring up the gingerbread lane greeting cards deal. Oh, you better make sure there is a get well soon sister card. Cause <laughs> so help me, I can deck the halls with Bowser. Holly! Josh! Listen, while we still have some light, I'd love to get some footage of you guys cutting down the Christmas tree. Okay. Sure. Good. So the kids are back? Absolutely. Let me go get them. Okay. <sighs> Haley! Xander! Come on down. Don't keep your Aunt Ivy waiting. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Let me go get them. Yeah. They're just dumb. Um, worn out. From the walk. But the Christmas footage was supposed to be for... What? You're not feeling well. <coughs> no, no, you're right. You don't want to give it to the rest of us. He's not feeling well. I mean, he's gonna stay in bed the rest of the day. Okay, well, what about Haley? Haley, um, Haley is also gonna stay upstairs because she's a good sister. You know what, Josh? <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, I, I should just... You know what, don't worry about it. The tree cutting can wait till the kids are better, right? I mean, it's not like it's going anywhere. <laughs> right? <laughs> right. <laughs> I'll see you guys later. You and me, we're doing this together. <laughs> ah, now what? I don't know. My brain is too numb to think. Well, my hands are too numb to hold this any longer. What? Just open the door. I got it. Okay. I got it. Okay. Okay. I'm trying. Okay. I don't got it. Whose idea was it to do a test run? That would be you. I still blame you. What if I try pushing and you try pulling? We already tried that. Oh yeah, okay, well, how about this? How about we have an outdoor tree? I mean, indoor's kind of predictable, right? You really <laughs> wanna try to get that back outside? Good point. Oh, what if? What? Stop tickling me. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> oh, oh, no, 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 no,
I'm back! I can see you guys needed my help after all. Could you pass me a... Yeah. Oh. I think that's mouse number three. <laughs> Lucky you found those traps. Uh, well, actually, we only found two. The other mouse got stuck on some of your pull tappy. Ivy, you can come down. I think we caught them all. Your kids afraid of mice too? Is that why they're not helping? Um, no, I always decorate the tree myself. Kids like to be surprised by how it looks. Hmm. Looks like your uninvited guests have put a dent in your decorations. <laughs> it's no big loss. To tell you the truth, I'm not great at popcorn garlands. Actually, the real truth is... That you're great at being a mom, and that's all that really matters? Thanks. I'm not sure that's true anymore, but... Hey, come on. I've seen the way you are with your kids. I kinda wish I had that relationship with my own parents. Um, you know what, I'm, um... Actually... Pretty tired. It's been quite a day. Yeah. Did you get some sleep? You're gonna need it. Remember, we go live tomorrow. <laughs> How could I forget? And there's going to be a surprise. What do you mean? You'll see. You know how much Audra loves surprises. Not sure I can handle any more surprises. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Relax. You're gonna be great. Good night, Holly. Good night. I should have never let it come to this. And if I haven't made you realize that you are the most important thing in my life, I haven't been the mother you deserve. I wish I could take this all back. Ivy, get up. Make Ivy! Stuff. Oh, it's just you. Look, I can't do this anymore. Oh, no, not this again. No, there's nothing you can say this time to change my mind. I'm... I'm through. Holly, we have to. Look, I raised my kids to tell the truth and to do the right thing. I can't let them watch me ignore my own advice and live this lie just to... 
Just to sell some books. We made a commitment. It's, it's too late. Yeah, but it's wrong. <laughs> and we can't pull this off. It's time to stop pretending. Everyone's gonna find out that I'm a fraud. What difference does it make if it's today or tomorrow? I mean, we have a lot riding on us. Look, I'll call your boss, okay? I'll tell him you had nothing to do with this, that it was all me, that I was the one... Maybe... Went... Maybe I'm the fraud. The last page... It wasn't completely deliberate. It, it just... It just felt like the right thing to do at the time, and... You really needed a hit, Holly. What happened to the last page, Ivy? I... I threw it away. I know how that sounds, but I swear I only did it to help. How is that helping? Do you think I saw any of this coming? I wanted it the way that it was. It's my story. Yeah, but at least my way, our story has a happy ending. A happy ending? My kids aren't speaking to me and I'm about to be humiliated on national television. Tell me the happily ever after part. Happily ever after? <sighs> Holly. I am so sorry for what I did. I was wrong. But maybe we needed this dream in our lives. Like, no matter what, we'll get through this. Just like we got through everything else in our lives. Together. Like sisters do. Maybe you're right. Figure out this taffy pull thing. How much more taffy do we need? Uh, a lot. <laughs> oh. oh my goodness. I don't know. I think it looks kind of festive. It looks pretty good. I kind of like it. Yes, it's going crazy. Better work. Okay. Ready? Let's go. Okay.
Wow. This place looks great. Not bad, right? Oh, hey. No! Those are just for show. Just for the show is what you mean. For, for the, the show. show. Yeah. Okay, well, as soon as we finish shooting, dibs. <laughs> I won't fight you for them. <laughs> so, you guys all ready for the live show? As ready as we can be. All right, let's get the kids down here and we'll do a run through. <sighs> guys? Even if they're still sick, we need the whole family. No, they're not sick. They're, they're doing great. <laughs> Good. Xander, Haley, showtime. They're not here. They were feeling so good that they went out to... to get my presents. presents. Because they're making their presents out of pine cones. It's a family tradition. <laughs> They better be back soon, or else we're all in trouble. <sighs> we are in trouble. What do you mean? The kids aren't coming back. Because they're with their dad. This better be a bad joke, because we Merry Christmas! <gasps> I'm loving it! <laughs> wow! Surprise! Welcome, everyone. I'm here in Gingerbread Lane. We're so happy to have you. <laughs> now, as you know, the original plan was to do this remote from back in our studio, but like I always say, life isn't a spectator sport. You gotta live it! And I am definitely living it! <laughs> but more importantly, I'm loving, loving it! it. <laughs> so, now, the first thing I have to say to you two is, Merry Christmas to you, too. We have been going over all the footage of you guys putting this place together. We were so excited. And now to be here in the final product. Ha, ha, look at those. Oh, they smell so good. Ooh, homemade goodness. You can't buy it. <laughs> no. Now, are, the, are those the jelly-filled cookies? Uh, well, that's a recipe I just can't share. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> Look at that pulled taffy. I bet they taste as good as they look. <laughs> Absolutely. And uh, anyone could do it. Yeah. Um, you know, it looks challenging at first, but you just got to stick with it. <laughs> <laughs> stick with it. That's right. Now, we saw the clips of you making it, and it looked like a lot of fun. You know what? We, we really did have fun. <laughs> Remember what it looked like? Bah! <laughs> I love those bows. Uh, thank you. My, um, my daughter and I made them together. Oh, speaking of your kids, why don't we bring them out here? It's time to find out how it went being separated from their MP3s and their PS4s. Um, did I mention we also made these festive pillows? Right, but let's get the kids out here. Oh, looks like my producer is telling me that it is time to take a break. But when we return, the kids. See you soon. <sighs> and we're out. Um, Audra, we have a bit of a problem. Well, you know how much I despise surprises. It's just that the kids aren't here. What do you mean? I thought this was all arranged. We thought it was. Thought? Thought? What is going on here? Well, oh no. Don't tell me you're another one of those con jobs. I can't believe it! First, I get the blind guy who writes the book about Mount Everest. Turns out he hasn't left his front door in Cleveland and he has 2020 vision! That was two years ago. Yes, but our ratings took a dip and we have barely recovered from it. I promise we will get this all sorted out. Yes, we will, starting with your job. This was your idea. You can take the fall for it. I am not! Gonna be another laughing stock because of one of these hoaxes. Uh, and Audra, I... uh, we're live in four, three, two. Now, 
just as we promised, Holly, I think it's time we brought the kids out here. Uh, right, um, well, I have two kids, Haley and Xander. She's a girl and he's a boy. Oh, okay, good stuff. We don't want to hear about the kids, Holly. We want to see them. Okay. Well, I'm sure I have a picture of them around here somewhere. Do I hear sleigh bells? Uh, I am definitely hearing sleigh bells. <gasps> Don't tell me. I love surprises. <laughs> Always room for Audra. <laughs> How sweet. <sighs> Three, two. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Hey! <laughs> Thank you all for proving that Gingerbread Lane is alive and well. Merry Christmas. Yeah, and happy everything else. <laughs> and cut. That's a wrap. Great job, everyone. Loving it! <laughs> I'm freezing. Are we good? Uh, just checking with the studio to see that they got everything. Does anyone know why I have a long distance phone call to Banff on my phone? Isn't that in Alberta? <coughs> <coughs> um, Cookie? Oh, yeah. Thank you again, Holly. No, thank you. It's been quite a... <coughs> I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to go off on you like that. <laughs> Blame it on the jet lag. I knew from page one that you were the real deal. Well, I... <coughs> uh, we, we got it. We're all done. <coughs> well, are you okay? I mean, you should have that checked out. It's, I'm fine, I'm fine. I'll walk you <coughs> Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry Christmas. <laughs> oh, still loving it. <laughs> I can't believe we ate that cookie. <laughs> oh, can't believe you guys came back. <laughs> Mm. And I can't believe you got another horse. Oh man, Gilroy hooked us up. Well, I am so glad you're here. Uh, the chateau wasn't all it was cracked up to be anyways. I mean, there wasn't even any internet. Well, I mean, there wasn't. That's not why we came back. We got a call from Dad, who wanted to take us out to dinner. I mean, he'd call every hour from the arena, but once again, being with Dad wasn't all it's cracked up to be. Speaking of which, Merry Christmas. Oh. How, um, practical. <laughs> Open, Open it. it. See, it's the, it's 12 eggs of Christmas. Oh. You guys. We had a lot of time to kill waiting for dads. And we so. got to thinking about all the eggs you painted for us over the years. Figured we owed you at least a dozen. They are beautiful. We're really sorry, Mom. We should have never left you here with all of this. No. Honey, I should have been honest from the start. I got carried away pretending to be something that I'm not. And I lied to everyone. And that is not what a mom should do. <sighs> Still can't believe they bought it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be right back. So, so, it was all a big put on. No, I mean, yes, but it didn't start out that way. And if your kids hadn't gone AWOL, 
none of us would have known the difference. Josh. I mean, you came I... this close to have me make a major fool of myself. I mean, do you realize how close you came to cost me my job? I know this might be hard for you to believe, but I'm so sorry. Yeah. So am I, Holly. They can get us out on the 10 p.m. flight. Guys, if you want to leave tonight, I have to book it now. I mean, do we have to? Yeah, I mean, we worked so hard to make this happen. So be ashamed to leave because Aunt Ivy was... Guys, it's okay. I know Aunt Ivy called you and forced you to come back for the show. No, oh, Mom. Ivy told us everything all about the last page. We're the ones that wanted to come back. And we're the ones that changed the plane tickets so that we could get here in time for the show. <laughs> guys. You know I'm a sucker for happy endings. So you guys really want to stay and celebrate Christmas here? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. <laughs> a toast <laughs> to Gingerbread Lane. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas, everyone. You know, Mom, these cookies are really wicked. No, not in a good way, though. <gasps> oh, <my God. laughs> Here, give them to me. Why don't we go to Baker's Crossing and get some real cookies? Oh, I'm so there. Okay, as go. long as I don't have to bake, I am in. <laughs> oh, hi, Josh. <laughs> Come on, guys, let's go. Before all the good stuff's gone. Audra wanted you to have these. I'll tell Audra I say thank you. She feels bad that she was so hard on you. <sighs> no harder than I've been on myself. We know that part of this is our fault for putting you in this position. No, this is all my fault. I, I should have just been honest from the start. You know that we got more emails about yesterday's show with you than anything else we've ever done? I mean, whatever the truth may be, people want to believe in Gingerbread Lane. They need to believe. We all need to believe it. Even if it's not true? Holly, look around you. You made this happen. That's the truth. And if you can do it here in the middle of nowhere, well, then there's hope for the rest of us. Now, Audra is thrilled with how everything turned out. Me, not so much. But I think I know how I might be able to fix it. Merry Christmas, Holly. Rudolph's on 
on the road. 